Amber was bossing Pepe around yesterday, but now she's on her knees at his feet and refusing to leave what's wrong with her a month ago, wealthy Amber flew from New York to Greece on a jet with her husband and friends, but as soon as Amber arrives at the pier she complains that the cruise ship is too shabby to please his wife pharmaceutical mogul Tony organizes the cruise. Although he coaxes her into embarking with a full complement of gym equipment she's always had a disdain for crew members who live off the sea like the infamous pirates as soon as Amber steps into the cabin. She shows contempt for them wondering how such a small closet could possibly hold all her extravagant dresses she arrogantly requests the crew member Jeppy let's call him Pepe where the fitness equipment is Pepe is a fisherman the captain brought in from Italy to help out being a free spirit he brings her an exercise bike and a jump rope Amber is so upset with Pepe's vulgarity that she tries to strangle him with a Rope due to her privileged upbringing, she has developed an arrogant and haughty personality, when her husband wears a Hawaiian shirt to a dinner party she accuses him of being a pirate like Pepe and disgracing her when everyone invites her to swim in the sea, she dislikes the fact that people have defecated in the sea, and says they will drown Pepe hands her a swimming mask and tells her to go into the sea and swim with the fishes she criticizes him for being so ignorant that he doesn't even know. That fish is the plural for fish Pepe has never seen such a mean ill-mannered woman he grumbles to the captain, but the captain captain advises him to put up with it do it for the money's sake as the daughter of a pharmaceutical company owner Amber has no sympathy for the poor or the disabled, she rebuts her husband who criticizes the problems of capitalism with a straight face. She thinks blind people can't afford medicine because they're lazy they could just go bake bread while that sounds like. Marie Antoinette cruise ship attendants are like pets to her, so she doesn't care at all when these lowly crew members spy on her sunbathing naked poor Pepe rolls his eyes at this hard-hearted woman he loves being whistled at or snapped at to be told what to do, but Amber can't even call him by his right name when she orders him to do something Amber dislikes Pepe's coarseness. So she makes snide remarks about him every chance she gets for example when she rants at him for reheating her coffee and forcing him to reprocess it when Pepe wears the cartoon t-shirt she asked him to wear she's now offended whenever his wife was so aggressive Tony would always intercede and ask Pepe to take care of her in a kind tone of voice Pepe serves her with a smile on the outside but in the back of his mind he's going crazy on the captain saying he's going to chop that up with a kitchen knife as a friend she's also notorious for not showing respect for others which makes the atmosphere of a fun game. Difficult the wealthy people invite Pepe to express his feelings about the chemicals that are causing him to be unable to continue fishing because of the pollution even when Pepe makes the profound statement that money corrupts principles and blinds people Amber only car cares enough to bet $4,000 on a poker game and order him to clean out the ashtrays at lunch. Amber dislikes the rancid taste of Pepe's fish after so many days of being bossed around by her Pepe is unwilling to put up with this. Cold-blooded woman he picks up the bowl and dumps all the food on her head Amber yells for her husband to help a beggar can never be bankrupt Pepe who has been doing manual labor for years threatens Tony to sit down or he'll break Tony's bones he then throws Amber over the railing into the seat in full view of the crowd just when he thinks he's in charge. He's woken from his daydreams by the snap of her fingers what a dream for a poor man Pepe storms into the kitchen and shouts that the cooks are responsible for the bad fish, but they couldn't taste anything wrong with the fish, the captain tells them to cook another fish because he's seen too many rich people play tricks on them, he instructs Pepe to smile like a fool at the rich, you don't need to love them just love their money returning from a trip to the island Amber buys some fresh fish Pepe, who has been fishing since she was a child feels insulted and scolds her you mean thing this is the Italian name of the fishes the chefs don't. Want to cook this fish either, it'll make them drop their prices the slippery, Captain quickly comes up with a solution to replace it with fish caught by Pepe anyway the rich don't know anything and are easily fooled as he expects these privileged people not. Only can't taste the difference, but they are also very satisfied with the food this time, however, the more you hate someone sometimes the more you pay attention to them she is disgusted with Pepe while flirting with him when she's drunk Pepe has self-respect despite his poverty. He refuses to dance with people he doesn't like this makes Amber who has been in control since she was a child feel something else for him the rich people's entertainment on a cruise ship is basically drinking fishing and taking pictures Amber who doesn't fit and often walks around the ship alone over time Pepe seems to notice the sadness in the eyes of this arrogant woman that day her husband and friends go to the island to visit the caves Amber wakes up and orders Pepe to load down the dinghy and take her to the island Pepe advises her not to go because it's likely to rain later their argument is now decided by who has more money and power eventually Pepe gets into the lifeboat and heads for the caves with the 
Woman he loathes unfortunately the engine suddenly breaks down Amber first berates him for failing to fix it, then she insists that her husband will come to her rescue when he's done playing after a day and a night at sea they didn't wait for any help Pepe drops his screwdriver while working on the engine, so he jumps into the sea Amber wakes up to find him gone thinking he's abandoned her, and anxiously calls out his honorific when he discovers her timidity she changes the subject and searches for tools in the big plastic inflatable bathtub, she opens a secret compartment and pulls out a gun Pepe asks her to put it down for fear that it might go off when she hears that it's just a, a flare gun Amber the pragmatist is dismayed Pepe spends hours with a snorkel catching a very small fish after ripping its head off he immediately gives it to Amber even though Amber doesn't like the fact that there's no rice wrapped around it. She can't resist the hunger d her throw the fish back into the sea. Without hesitation, Pepe is furious Bion takes a lick Amber accuses him of being too naive to understand the benefits of fasting during the argument Amber sees a boat in the distance Amber tries to fire flare gun, but she doesn't know how to use it Pepe anxiously tries to take the gun from her the two of them fight so hard that the gun shoots into the inflatable boat. They spend the night in a lifeboat which is starting to deflate during a violent and stormy sea crisis the next morning Amber opens. Her eyes and sees land she excitedly shakes Pepe awake and follows him to shore by hand paddling as soon as Amber lands she thinks she's been rescued she immediately threatens to sue him with a lawyer Pepe ignores her and instead climbs to the highest point to explore the island he soon discovers that there's no civilization here because it's a desert island Amber angrily accuses him of ruining everything and being useless it. I can't reason with a hairy black Pepe has put up with her bad temper. For days and his dignity won't allow him to apologize to a woman whose tongue has the grace of the gutter you are a mongel dog Pepe leaves her alone to find usable supplies and food spending decades at sea has given him a wealth of experience in the wilderness he soon finds a hut that someone else has built before he picks up plastic bottles that have drifted onto the island to get a drink from the mountain spring. Then he uses tire sticks and nails to effectively make a bow of an arrow in. Contrast to his relaxed survival Amber's search for a way out is unsuccessful, and she's even injured she can only steal fresh water from Peppy's water bottle while he goes fishing after seeing him catch a large lobster and some fish she condescendingly offers to buy it for 1000 and her gold bracelet Pepe refuses without hesitation, he quotes her statement that capitalism has no moral compass, and says that money can't buy anything starving and frantic Amber shows her savage side she punches Pepe. In anger Pepe immediately slaps her in return, Pepe is still haunted by her scornful behavior and insulting language on the boat, now he doesn't have to bow down to her anymore.